Welcome back to another video, and as you can tell from the title, in this one we're going to be going over basically what the Tier 5 Bologna skin looks like, uh, and then kind of what they went through in the design process on how to get there. So this is presumably what the, you know, Bologna skin is going to look like. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the new Divine Uprising event, you collect everything in there. I think there's like 30 or 31 items total. It's a lot of gems, but you collect all that, you get this tier 5 Bologna skin for the reward. And this is what she looks like. She obviously has um, three different transformations in terms of like stances. So they utilize that for the tier 5. So whenever she's in her normal stance, when she has her um, her sword and her shield out, she's going to look like this. Whenever you go to hit her, what is it, like her scourge or something, her 3, her life steal, you're going to transform into that. And then obviously whenever you have your lane clear, or presumably your lane clear out, uh, depending on scenarios, I guess this technically could be your lane clear, but usually that's going to be the lane clear, um, you're going to look like that. So really, really cool, and I like how they're um, implying, or not implying, but using different gods that have cool stance changing things to the tier 5. Like this is a different tier 5 than Thor, where whenever he goes up in his ult, he transforms, and then when he dies, he detransforms, or someone like Thanatos and Anubis that do it periodically, you got Bologna who just does it with the stances, so that's pretty cool, so this is what it's going to look like, uh, I'm going to move on to some more designs that were there before, uh, and like weapon designs, we'll get into the first one, so this first one right here, you can't tell a whole lot of differences between uh, this stance, um, but the one thing I can point out is that it seems like this was longer, like this was one of the, the designs that we're thinking of whether or not to make this super long, I think they shortened it down, um, and then her weapon, I believe, added more, uh, like I think the eye is glows red, um, and there's more color into this weapon as well, but this one this one, it looks pretty much the same. I think this was like a rough sketch of the idea, but this is, you get an idea of um, the process it takes to get to that. So while this may be the final sketch, it looks completely different than the final form of it, which we'll get into a little bit later. And then they kind of tested with some ideas. Should we keep the helmet open? Should we keep it closed? There's some different angles. Um... And then you can tell they changed the helmet a little bit here. I'm trying to see from the original. This is definitely, that would have been cool. I do like having that uh, kind of dragon sitting upon her shoulder. And the final update, it, it looks, it more resembles kind of this. I think they kept like the same dragon head shoulder pad theme. Um, what else do we have that's different? Obviously the headgear, the pads. I think all of that is relatively the same, like her armor and stuff, it's just more detailed in the final version. She still has these claws, but not all of the colors there. This is um, kind of a watered down version of it, very, just a lot of whites and grays still in there, similar to this one. So, but you see the different designs there, and we'll go ahead and move on to the next picture. Now with this one, you can see this is what more her final form is going to look like in this stance. You see what I meant by like the dragon head kind of standard compared to the last one, an updated version of, you know, what her weapon's going to look like now that it's filled in. Not only that, though, we have a preview of kind of the weapon designs they went through uh, in terms of, like, the banner and the flag and stuff like that. And then some slight changes. You see even the slight changes. I had to actually look at these three because at first I was just kind of looking shoulders up. Uh, I did notice the shoulder pad's a little different on this one. Um, and actually in the final form, I think this is her final form. No, not quite. It is that shoulder pad, though. She does keep this shoulder pad for the final one. You can see it's different, but the main changes, and they're very subtle, is her legging. You see here she has more of this, um, I don't even know what to call that. Not a whole lot of armor there protecting her. There she has kind of leggings on, and there it doesn't look like she has a whole lot. Um, the final form, she has something. Actually, it doesn't even look anything like this. It, it kind of comes up halfway here. Uh, we'll look at a uh, picture later on, but you get an idea of just even small details. The shoes are different here. She's got more of the, her like Roman sandals on, whereas these two are boots. So... Kind of like flip-flopping, mismatching stuff from different ones. She doesn't have a belt buckle on here, but she has it here. Little intricate stuff like this. It's really cool to see what goes into these skins. And then you can see down here with the weapons. Not a whole lot to get from this until we see it in comparison to other things. We'll go ahead and do that right now. Actually, before we do that, I thought I'd go ahead and zoom in so you can actually see like the true differences. If you wanted to get up close, you could pause it here and, and try to spot as many differences as you can between them. Because there's, there's quite a bit when you look at fine details, so I'm interested to see how many you guys can find. I found like four or five maybe, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and move on to another picture. This one, again, you can see the different processes they were going through with this transformation. They even went through more extreme ones. I guess the last one we were looking at was more of the fine tuning, but this one, completely different. I mean, yeah, everything about it, the leggings, the knee pads or shin pads, whatever you want to call them, the shoulder, this is elaborate as hell, this headdress she's got going on here. Uh, even the like diamonds, the shape, or not diamonds, I guess that'd be like an emerald. The shape of the emerald, we're even to call that, is different in each skin. The amount of glow that's in it, like, it's crazy. And they have to come up with all of these and then pick one. I can't imagine having to pick one of these for the final one. Uh, these two, I think, are set. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of narrowing down. You see kind of where they start. Then they kind of, they'll take little details from here of this one and kind of put it with this one. And then you get your two final products. And then you got to come down to the third one and narrow it down to this one. And then I guess this would be like the final, um, what are even are these exactly? Are they banners? Are they what i'm not quite sure oh uh, it's interesting to see and then you can see this is all three of her weapons here final form which is pretty cool we have a couple more pictures to go one is going to be another design concept and then the last three are going to be kind of final form of everything that we have now this picture here <clears throat> i believe these two down here are final form uh if not they're very similar and then all this might be the kind of final stuff here this i'm not sure what that was that a possible weapon before that was super plain if it was. Or maybe that's... No, that's the flag she plants, I think. So maybe is that what her flan, uh, flag looks like? It's like a dragon wing? That'd be pretty cool. Um, is that like her weapon active and not active? I'm not quite sure what that is. And then I think that's just the handle to the sword there. Then her scourge. Same thing with that. But you can tell up here... They even had a, like a different direction they were going to. These... You could tell they're the same. Like this is part of the, the Bologna series, but... They're just so different. I guess the main difference, actually, they're not even that different, really. The armor here is different, but the main thing is the helmet. The helmet is totally different. I think they did the right thing because this, these up here, these are totally different. These don't even look relatively close to the final form, actually. Um, everything from the color, the final form is more of a brighter gold, and this is super dull. But these don't scream... Um, dragon to me and I, I forget what the skin's called specifically but i know it's dragon themed it might be like divine blown or dragon blown i don't know but it'll be in the title and it doesn't really give that feel this looks more like a, a i don't even know it's a badass skin and so is this but these two scream dragons so much more so that they did the right thing what we're gonna do now is take a look at the final three pictures pretty quickly and just wrap up everything we've covered and see the final form of all three transformations in detail to see what they came up with. So I guess we'll start off with this one since we've been covering it a lot lately. You can tell, you guys have a better view of this because you can go back and forth between times in the video and I can't, but you can tell how different this form was to the last one we were just looking at. But again, Scream's dragon a lot more. You can see the dragon on her shoulder. Um, although these aren't really dragon, I get that vibe. And then obviously the belt buckle or whatever the armor you want to call that and i really like the headdress they decided on a couple other ones are pretty cool but this one is elaborate but not too elaborate that it takes away from the other forms uh, and the cape is really awesome as well you can see over here I, i'm still not convinced like what are what is this if anyone can tell me please let, would that be her it's not her flag because i think that the dragon wing was her flag so i don't know and there's a different one for each transformation too so i'm not quite sure and that is what her weapon looks like. In final form, go ahead and hop over to another one. We got the basic form here, kind of what you're going to see most of the time. Still cool though, and nevertheless, I'm, I actually do like the, um, the design they had for the other Bologna. Um, I think it was two pictures before this, kind of where they had like that dragon theme at the bottom and then the non-dragon Bologna skins. I really like the other one mainly because she didn't have a helmet on, I don't think. You just saw her face and her hair, and it looked amazing with her armor. It looked like she was... I don't know, a character in WoW that just had their helmet not on display to look cool. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of, but still really cool. Much, much, you know, more of that dragon feel again, obviously, with the helmet, the shoulder, the belt, same thing. And she even has this dragon design on her, like, tabard here, which is pretty cool. And then the weapon as well, which this is kind of what we saw earlier, just when it's in full form and detail. A lot of, like, purples and blues in this, but, like, 
there's so many purples and so many blues and yellow. Like, I don't know. Really, really cool. I love the way they blended the colors. It looks awesome, and I'm, I cannot wait to see it in game. And then we have one final transformation. I believe I saved the best for last because the helmet is just sick, and so is the weapon. And here we go. The best one, in my opinion. I mean, just look at that helmet. That is fantastic. That If that doesn't capture Dragon, I don't know what. Well, you get the shoulder again. Same thing on the belt. They, they went... They had different things here, different things there for this form, this form, and then they kind of picked the best design, but made sure every transformation was similar. They all have a dragon-themed helmet, a dragon head shoulder pad that, that is relatively the same, but a little different, uh, same style uh, tabard with the belt buckle, so I, I don't know. I just think it's fantastic, and again, you get the weapon over here, which, th that's the main reason. That weapon, it's the best weapon, I think, and the helmet's the best two main reasons why i think this is the best transformation um shout out to high res uh their twitter or i guess and smite technically got all of these pictures from their twitter they've been like slowly releasing little sneak peeks here and there so i decided we're getting relatively close and I, i'm i'm pretty sure they've this is about all the pictures they can release of the new Bologna skin if they do do more i guess i'll cover that as well but i figured why not put them all in one big video so you guys can like truly get an idea to see the transformation and the process so that is going to wrap it up for this video uh, if you want to check out the pictures yourself just go to smite's twitter account and go to media and try to find them yourself they should all be uploaded within like the last month but that is going to wrap it up for this one if you enjoyed it be sure to drop a like hit subscribe for more content if you already haven't twitter instagram and snapchat links uh, are down in the description and until next time thank you for watching